Hello everyone, this is General Oda, and welcome back to our Let's Play Rome 2 Total War. So, unfortunately we lost another general in the 7th Legion, so we'll need to replace him. Everyone just seems to be dying. Got another... Wow, there's lots of, uh, lots of things going on, and Pompey is dead now as well. Oh, wow, hmm, poor guy. That was Ready very quick. Battle. This place is looking to become... A rebel state soon. So I thought I transformed this to a Marvel city last time, but uh, doesn't look like That's it did that. Command. Main rebels well are back. So let's uh, let's actually yeah. kill these guys off before they uh, do any damage. So we got rid of those guys really quick. Adumatu and this entire province is now connected. We cannot uh, follow this order. At least two of the three. Two out of the three. So we got Egypt here. Looks like they're by themselves. Manscats are here. Warriors of the Sun. I don't want to engage in naval combat, so I'll let them sit there for a little bit more. Uh, Manscats, the stone burners are there. At your command. Now it's no it doesn't look like there's a space for us to land. Okay. Commander. So we'll attack this settlement now. Settlement. None will escape. Uh, we'll quickly auto resolve this. 58% of our forces, but uh, oh, we lost some gladiators. So that was unfortunate. Maybe I should have fought that battle. Ready for further orders. But Ready we just wanted battle. to get that over with. So fourth legion. Let's level up a little bit more. So let's see, Delta Sen is already made, build fountains, and we'll get a <coughs> grove of nymphs. Um, this place is timber, so we'll repair it. Uh, irrigated farm, we'll destroy. We'll also destroy this. Uh, this guy has been forced marched over, so let's set him back to regular stance. And up oh, now we can actually. Ooh, looks like we can get Roman ballistas At now. So considering we have a ton of levies in the Seventh Legion, let's get rid of all of them. Uh, let's uh, upgrade these guys. Have to individually upgrade these guys, unfortunately. Lancers. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not a big fan, but we'll get the uh, three ballistas. And let's see, we'll get some more legionnaires. And I kind of wanted some cavalry. So, auxiliary infantry. We didn't unlock equites in this one. Uh, hmm. Can get an auxiliary camp, see what's going on with this. Uh, oh, looks like we can build better, Commander. better things. So let's get rid of these guys. I'm actually going to get rid of all mercenary troops as well. And these legionnaires will help bulk Ready up the army battle. a little bit more. And this army could get rid of this guy. And these Persian cavalry will be disbanded as well. So we'll need a few more turns before we can get some better troops. So I think it will take actually three turns, so three years, before we can get onagers and whatnot. We hunger for battle. Um, hmm. Armies are positioned everywhere, but uh, we can't use them. Ah, so it looks like we have to go all the way over here to dock. Um, I guess we can do that. Wait, 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 where is this guy coming from? Damn it! Get to it, man! I didn't even want to move him. Ah, oh, now to send him back here. Ready for orders. Oh, I actually thought I selected the second legion, Commander. but uh, I did not. Ease, man. Nope. Oh no! Come on. So, unfortunately, 
wasted a few blueprint points on that. So we'll uh, dock here and then we'll attack the Mazcats. And Harmoza has a very good garrison so we don't have to worry about them being lost to the enemy. So these dudes are not replenishing yet. Um, I know I said we should wait three turns but I'm actually gonna build those guys up for the next turn. How can I be of assistance? How can I serve Rome? Parthians are here. I am so it looks Rome. like the next big battle will Glory. be with Merv or Arya. Is there nothing but at else? their settlement Merv. And you can see that they have a lot of dudes. So we'll probably need two or three legions to fight them off. Or maybe just one. We'll see. And we'll end our turn here. Alright, so it looks like we're back to our turn and there's going to be another rebellion that's going to happen soon at one of our new found settlements, but uh, luckily for them we can build uh, build uh, temples so that they won't be as angry. These rebels Attack are over here. For Fourth Legion's not going to have any of it, out. so we're just going to wipe them out, as that guy said, before they can grow in numbers. So if you wait, I think one more turn, it, the army like doubles, and then each turn they gain a few more we guys. For me, but I cannot. So I'm gonna command. send them back into the city. <clears throat> Looks like we can recruit elephants, and that's what we'll do for the fourth legion. So this fourth legion has a bunch of different guys mixed in together. Now these guys, the purifying flames, man these guys will be tough to fight, but uh, Commander. Commander. we'll fight them, get rid of them. And what will happen here is we orders. will, hmm, this army looks like it can take care of itself, so I'll send this legion to fight battle. those guys and this legion will just Advance. stay behind. And. Will they defend? Where will they defend? Uh, I'm gonna send them to... Actually, I'm gonna just leave them there. So second legion is going to dock this turn. And we forgot to get them is out that of that old? stance. So that means we can At continue once. marching our way out. Uh, and here is Egypt. Their army is really small, surprisingly. And this is the Guerrerians. Ready for battle. So 12th Legion will force march their way through to uh, to Egypt, and we'll get rid of Egypt in the next turn. I'm surprised they've survived for this long. So we'll trespass. We we'll stand orders. where we can't uh, die, and these dudes are still waiting. Keep them in a regular stance, and we'll stand them down here so that we can tempt those guys to attack us. Now, let's see. What else can we do now that uh, these dudes are all settled in and stuff? Alright, I think we should be good until we'll end their turn again. So that was a very quick uh, AI turn. And wow, everyone is just dying. Vesuvius is dead. He's one of our admirals. Uh, this guy has been exposed. It's going to be a rebellion in Asia apparently. So let's check out what's going on in Asia via our our provinces tab, I actually don't see where Asia is. Oh, so it's the first one. Wow, looks like uh, it has been going good for them for a while now. Squalor has reached a very, very high peak that no one wants. Uh, but as long as they attack our capital, we should be good. So we'll upgrade this to a circus. And uh, let's check up on Rome. Ho oh, ho! We got the Colosseum built. 
and uh, doesn't seem like that really matters because you know, nothing happened. Nothing grand happened. It looks like it didn't say, "Oh, you built the Colosseum. You want to check it out or anything like that." But uh, you can see it here, so that's really neat. Uh, Bundism, Magna Gratia is good. So in uh, so since we advance the next battle. turn, we will attack Egypt, declare war, and we'll attack them. Uh, the Braves of the Pharaohs, and we'll just quickly auto resolve this, or should be. We can either wait a turn and attack, eh, ah, just auto resolve. Uh, these guys are no more. Lucius Deus Tertus uh, leveled up along with the Legion, the 12th Legion. So let's see, what can these guys do? We can do more things better in army. Plus one experience for all recruits. Ooh, public order bonus. Or we can, uh, have less morale, I mean less upkeep and more morale. Let's do that. This is a very powerful army, so we want to give them as much morale as we can. Now I'll build another temple. This is going to be a gladiator school. And this will be destroyed. And we'll level up this to a a Roman city, and I'm surprised that this is only level 1 considering this was the capital of Egypt. But their faction got destroyed in a single turn. Commander. Uh, those mass cats ran back. It looks command. like they're gonna try and defend their capital, but it might to be too settlement. late for them. I'm not sure if they'll make it back in time. Ready for battle. Uh, let's see, we can... What? Who is defending this city? It, oh my goodness, this is a level 4. Ready for orders. So we'll force march our way up Any here. Out, left uh, maybe we can join in on the fun. Gathering supplies. Or maybe we can't. Uh, it's hard to say. We hunger for battle! And let's uh, let's not be crazy and attack those guys just yet. Ready for now, now we got our ballistas, so we can actually march That's north. You have further orders? And we can actually attack these guys. So we can either attack the guys that are, eh, let's just attack all of them. So. They have 7,000. We'll fight this on the battlefield. I don't know who will win, but uh, we'll give it our best shot. We'll probably get destroyed. But there is a bridge in this battle. Huh, haven't seen a bridge in this game yet, so I don't think. Or at least the river. We'll start the deployment. And let's see, where is their army? Their army is across the river. Ooh, very nice. We'll set our ballistas here in the proper formation. Set them a little bit further Wait apart so that uh, if one gets attacked, at least they don't all go down. And can we see the range on these guys? Let's see, what's the range? The range? What? It's so hard to see. I can't tell. It's not very obvious because you have to f you have to be on them to see it. Okay, so it looks like uh, we can get close enough and uh, if we're close enough we can actually shoot them. So these Peltas will be over here. These uh, super awesome dudes will be in the back. Ballistas will not be in a group, but uh, let's see, stand around and what's explosive round? Bonus versus infantry. Okay. Let's have this guy in the middle get the uh, explosive rounds. They'll all toggle fire at will. I mean, they'll all fire at will. I don't need to toggle that. Um, General will stand here in the back with uh, Praetorians. And this group of Praetorians will be the first defense. 
against anyone marching through. So we'll keep them on each side. Cavalry will defend the rear. And let's see, who else do we got going on for us? Uh, gladiators. Uh, I should control group these guys just in case. And let's see. We should be good here and we'll start the battle. And let's check it out. Let's check out this awesomeness in cinematic view. I don't know what that guy is doing anymore. What? Oh ho ho man that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. So there's reinforcements on the left side it looks like. So let's see what will we do? Well, first thing we can do is send either these guys over here to defend the river or we can do other stuff. Let's do that. Send our gladiators on this side. Gladiatorial men on this side to defend that river. Just in case we'll move our cavalry facing both directions. And then we will march. Um, well, I guess we won't march anyone else. We'll aim for these guys right here. Um, we'll do explosive rounds as well. We'll also do... Uh, let's just keep regular things going on over here for now. But wow, look at this. This is crazy. Those dudes are getting bombed to death. Eastern Spearmen. Now we need to make sure we pay attention to the battle. Just in case we get uh, flanked and and then bad things will happen. So I'll face my Praetorian in general the other way, just in case. And so these guys are literally just eating up my my shots right now. So these guys have better accuracy but less explosiveness. So I'm actually going to set them to explosive rounds as well because they don't actually do enough damage to justify each shot. So we're going to aim for the core of their men. Do as much damage as we can. Uh, let's see, these guys should be hitting this guy. These dudes, yeah they can continue hitting those guys and then this guy should be hitting this guy over here. And then we will engage our Kaltas with those dudes right now. Legionaries will march. I mean, yes, Legionaries will march in the middle. Uh, Gladiators can now resume their position over here. Cavalry will march to the si this side of the river so that they can flank anyone that comes through. And actually... Um, gladiators. I'm going to actually send my gladiators this way to fight those guys. These gladiators will join this side and uh, hopefully we can get some damage going. I'll do a quick, uh, quick reload for everyone here. Uh, ballistas are almost out of ammo so let's use them as we're engaged in skirmishing combat. So reinforcing Glatier tools. Get them in a separate group. Number five. Put them over here. And uh, we're actually going to quickly march up so that anyone trying to reinforce will be met with a sad fate. Now we're going to focus our aim over. Actually no, it's not even worth it. We need to continue focusing our aim this way. So, alright. Eastern Spearmen are trying to attack our Peltas, but we won't give them that chance. So we're trying to avoid melee combat as much as we can. Who are these, who are these guys doing? Warriors. 
Whoa, what's going on? What happened? My, uh, my cavalry's split in half for some reason. One of our units Let's see, is so ammunition. actually more reinforcing reinforcements are coming in, so what we'll try to do is lure them in or we'll cross Take the river. Aim. We are completely out of ammo for our Peltas, unfortunately, so we'll see what happens here. Um, these guys will now march slowly because they're getting tired. But now we're getting skirmished by their slingers. So let's see, what should we do here? Well, first thing we should do is recruit these guys, move them to the back, and have these guys continue to skirmish. And uh, once we feel like it's time to attack, we'll do just that. Do a quick reload. Now we have the chance. Uh, these, these gladiators are marching out this way, and uh, now that we got those dudes out of there, we're going to engage the enemy for glory of Rome. So now we will attack without mercy against the enemy. So our full army is going to march through and cross the gate, or cross the river, or bridge. Uh, two attack here. These are, which direction are these guys facing? Oh, the wrong way. Nope, now they're facing the right way. Damn it. Well, these pikemen are holding swords, so take advantage of that. And since these dudes are swordsmen and no longer pikemen, we'll just uh, crush them with a devastating flanking maneuver. And then we'll run away! We'll run away! Run away, men! Run! Run! Run the other way! Oh man, there's like so much blue coming at us. Rough riders! Right away! Anyways, over here we got combat. My Praetorians will not use the whip just yet. I use it at the end when you need it. So glad he tools go on a killing spree as soon as it can get into combat. Come on, Peltas! Do your thing! My general is getting shot at, I feel. Nope, nope, they're good. Okay, so now I neglected those guys a little bit. We need to maneuver and flank as much as we can. Killing spree on these eastern spearmen. Uh, let's see. Auxiliary cavalry is having a very hard time. And, you know, for good reason, they're fighting spearmen. Oh, we can flank these uh, spearmen, so let's do it. I don't know what's going on, but it looks like they have uh, they're a little messed up, so we'll flank the rest of these guys. So I need to help out these other gladiators. We're gonna charge. I charge on these dudes. So, flanking is good against the enemy. Just try not to get flanked yourself. This cavalry will uh, flank out the rest of these uh, eastern spearmen. These gladiators will need to uh, fight those pikemen as our horses don't do well against spears when they're facing towards them. So. Uh, those guys barely made it out alive, and they're going back for seconds. So we're gonna have them come over here. Gladiators need to hit those guys right now. Uh, let's see. What's going on in the main battle? Well, my men are standing around. 
for a normal of their victory chant. So we're gonna attack their those guys right there. Um, we're gonna continue marching forward. The enemy general is dead. Uh, let's see. So our Praetorians will fight against their median cavalry. And uh, those slingers are facing their backs against us, so we'll use that to our advantage. Let's see, to a spam and we'll, we'll have to fight these guys. These, uh, what are these Tarantine Cavalry? Oh, look, they have Tarantine Cavalry here as well. And uh, Spearmen. But uh, we will charge and kill off all the slingers. Hopefully they get the rest of these guys. They got the middle, but uh, didn't get everyone on the sides. At least not yet. So I'm gonna spread these guys out. I don't like it when my troops are too close together. So, I'm gonna march them across the river. Equites, you can see the devastating battle that we had over here. Alright, so gladiators and cavalry relatively healthy uh, cavalry right now so very good for us not good for them their pikemen are not piked up so we'll uh, engage the rest of their eastern uh, javelin men and actually there's plenty of ammo here so we're just gonna chill here for a little bit cavalry is just gonna stand around and I'm gonna check out what's going on over here. These are slingers. So enough for each piece, I mean each cavalry group. And they will go into flying wedge formation to get rid of those guys. And then I'll have uh, the rest of my guys take care of these dudes. This eastern javelin men. And uh, we'll cinematic view these pikemen are getting shot to death, but uh... Oh, it looks like they're actually charging now. So on our right, we got Romans. In front of us, we got more Romans. And on our left, we got the open fields, and right behind us, there's no one behind us. So, these uh, phalanx pikemen don't have any phalanxes or pikes. So, oh, oh, suddenly their pikes are active. And uh, my men are unaware, so I am going to make sure that they're aware, and they will charge up against them. I'll zoom in, you can see the pike, the pike action, and lots of javelins being shot behind them. And oh, that gladiator just stabbed that guy. Oh, and he stabbed the other guy. And basically, there's a lot of stabbing going on. And more victory for us. Uh, Everyone's cheering. These Peltas are not having any of it, so they're just gonna destroy these sardines. Or oh wait, they're called Sardura, but they're trying to run away uh, in shame. But will they survive? Is that a question? Now I got some more reinforcements over here. Eastern Slingers again. But well, let's check out the uh, cinematic view of this charge. So, we didn't get to see it last time, so now we have two, four flying wedges, and we're gonna charge against these slingers. May victory be ours, and whoa, yeah! Look at that destruction. So that, that was the first charge. And look, there were guys behind us, and they're gonna come over and kill the rest of them. Oh, man! Look at that charge. Oh, so I'm gonna redirect their direction over here to kill the rest of those guys. So cavalry is very useful. And those guys are now routed. We'll get rid of uh, Flying Wedge. And there's another reinforcing army over here. And so... More Slingers. I guess we'll just uh, send them out to get cavalry charged. Now, let's see. I don't know where the rest of their armies are, but uh, looks like this area is a pretty good spot for them. So actually, 
we're actually getting flanked now by their by their army. Some more cavalry, it looks like. So wow, did not see those guys coming. They literally came out of nowhere. So we'll uh, need to reinforce our men. Ooh, now it's a cavalry battle. You can see that uh, it's not too exciting because, you know, cavalry against cavalry isn't very... It's not too much hand-to-hand uh, -to -hand combat. Lots of stabbing though. Those horse archers don't stand a chance against my auxiliary men, so... Not too concerned for them. And we got our Peltas here. Let's see, let's set our army up uh, so that we can just quickly get rid of them. So our main Praetorian group will go this way. Six will go here to oversee the battle. And let's see. Oh, oh, all of the all of the enemy cavalry is dead now. And the battle should be almost over. Unless there's more reinforcing dudes coming in. Uh, this has already been 16 minutes in the battle. And we'll actually need to fast forward this because this is actually taking a lot longer than I expected. So everyone's marching. Marching, 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 marching. Oh. Man, it's taking, it, they're taking their sweet time. Oh wow, there's actually a lot of them. These dudes are lined up. So we'll engage first with the skirmishing units. And then from there, these guys need to chill out and just stand there. Where is Roman group 1? Alright. Spearmen at the ready. Gladiators are ready. So we're not going to attack just yet. Once everyone's in position, we'll send in our main Praetorian group with, along with the rest of our melee troops. Oh, looks like that's not a good idea. We'll just charge all at once now. So, we'll uh, hit them in the middle. These dudes need to- oh man, these guys are out of ammo. That's not good. Actually, my, my Peltas are very depleted. I'm actually going to retreat them. And now we will charge in wedge formation. Kill those guys, kill those guys. Hit those slingers. Give them nothing. Praetorians attack. So now while they're engaged in super shielded Praetorians, the gladiators will go on the side and finish them off. The reason why they want to send them the gladiators first is because, well, they don't really have very big shields. Well, actually, no, they do have big shields. Well, then never mind. They just don't have any armor then. So now the flanking was almost complete. Uh, we almost hit them hard, but un unfortunately, uh, we weren't able to kill them all. So 5,000 kills, only 500 losses. So we only lost a quarter of our army, but we killed more than half. And we also unlocked the Hades uh, achievement. So these dudes are dead. Let's see. Actually, not a lot of them died. Huh. Well, we'll execute the remaining forces. Forgive me, but I cannot. Um. Commander. Now we have options. We can continue to attack, but unfortunately, we are also out of time. So uh, thank you guys all for watching.